all right, all right, all right. This is actually, well, anyway, what I was going to say is irrelevant. As you can see right here, I went through and I pulled some um, replays of the Nase players from the leaderboards that they have uploaded themselves because as you heard from the last uh, things, it's going to take a while to get to this. I'm not exactly feeling particularly fantastic about this character. So I want to see, I am just realizing right now that almost none of these replays are actually against characters that I have trouble against. <laughs> like, almost every single one of these is just, is a match against somebody that, like a character that I'm fine against that I don't really feel is bad for Nanase. I saw one Gordo really quickly in there. <laughs> Yo, that was not good. Get in that ass, Seth. Get in that ass, Seth. Should have punished that, Seth. So, are Protex punishable? It especially looks like Gold Protex are definitely punishable. Like, are you even. I know I've heard that you are at a disadvantage if you try to throw somebody and it gets teched. Are you at an even more significant disadvantage if you gold throw somebody and it gets attacked? Also, why do so many people veil off? I would not have done that. Ah, I guess I, I actually I would have to. It's like no anti airs. That that is a, an occasion where like anybody should be able to anti air that. Where he's up in the air for that long and coming down at such a predict predictable trajectory. But Nanase can't. She can't do it. And that sucks. That's such a significant character weakness in an air dashing game to not have a viable anti air. <laughs> I should feel more impressed by somebody with 2 million whatever RIP is. RI points. Ranked something points, I would have to assume. That was pretty godlike, actually. That was very. Too bad I can't like, rewind or anything, because that was actually very cool. That final bit was very strong. Three overheads in a row? And it's especially, like. Um. It's definitely something that, you know, you don't really think is going to happen because her J2C, I mean her J8C gives her more airtime. So you're kind of thinking like, okay, after this J8, after this next move, they're going to be on the ground. Is this the same player? Did I not pay attention? I don't think it's the same player. No, that one has like 2,000 less games played. <laughs> Ooh, you have that long to confirm, huh? Yeah, see, that's the problem right there. You basically have to guess whether or not they're going to hop or not, and then react accordingly. That was dirty, Biakia. Oh, nice. Get something going. Oh, we can't punish it, of course. Oh, there you go. There you go. This dude should be dead. Nice. Very good. I wonder if that does more damage. I'll have to I'll have to look if I want to keep playing this character. I'll have to see which one does the most damage off of that ender. There's no way it's gonna be two three six C. I have no. Honestly, I feel like two three six C is something you would never want to use as this character. No, Did that just catch? I think that actually just caught her DP. I'm fairly certain that just caught her DP. Yeah, never delayed wake up, Nanase. If she's put out that projectile. Because then you're basically allowing that projectile to hit you right away. Oh, 
That 444 damage, hell yeah, so worth it! Her supers really are pretty, um, underwhelming in general. That was a sick combo, and only did 10, 2k? Nice, that was, that was sick, that was sick. Shoutouts to you, Feverhead. That was godlike. It would only work in the corner, though. <laughs> Probably whiff anywhere else because of that goddamn move. Some sad life. Oops, nope, nope, no. Sad life hitboxes right there. So now we're going to see whether or not... Because basically this and Hilda... What? What? Seriously? You get it? Why does that? Why is that relevant? Why does that matter? Okay, dude. Great. The one matchup that I wanted to see the most because I wanted to see some kind of answer to Gordeaux that I don't think she really has, and I can't see it. Fantastic. This game is just great. It's created so well. Oh my god. I hate everything. I really do. I hate everything right now. I'm already mad that I'm not going to get Bloodborne until tomorrow, and it's probably not going to come until 8 p.m. Since it's gonna, it says by 8 p.m., which means, you know, the universal truth that if it's by 8 p.m., it's going to happen at 8 p.m. Yeah, you want to talk about a character that's even at a further disadvantage than poor Nanase, it'd be this dude. That's another sad thing, like... All of the- oh! Every single one of those resources thrown away to get the damage that most characters get off of a regular meterless BNB. It doesn't feel good. I mean, like, if she was one of those, you know, glass cannon chip-like characters who had absolutely phenomenal, just diabolical mix-up options. Okay. That level of damage output is great, but she doesn't. Yeah, he can't punish that. He doesn't have any moves to get- what the hell? Yep, that's all you have to do. If you see that move, just block high. Block high for like a brief second, so you can be sure they're not doing the overhead, and then throw out a normal that would blow up the dash afterwards, and there's nothing she can do. Like, if you delay for long enough, to either block the overhead, then you're either going to block the overhead or a potentially, like, attempted frame trap 6A follow-up. Otherwise, at that point in time, they either have to throw out the 6C. Or, um, that's actually kind of sick. I like that. That if you throw somebody during it, they get hit with the projectile. I did that to somebody, but I wasn't recording it. And I saw that, and that's, that's quite cool. But again, that's something that you can easily beat by just hopping, and then you can punish me for trying that. Which is not a good, it's not a good feeling. See, look how small that thing's hitbox is. It doesn't even match up to where Akatsuki's projectile is. That's sad. Nice bait. Very good bait. Missed the jump forward. That's sad. Why would you do that? I don't know. I can't understand why this person is doing Like, if that's a mistake, maybe? I don't... Oh, I should have been much significantly harder than that. So, is it just because of Akatsuki that, that, that this person is managing to hit that anti-air, or am I completely wrong about 3C not being viable? Because to me, 3C feels exactly like her DP. She got hit with that overhead every single time. I don't think she ever went low with that. But I don't know if it's just because Akatsuki has shitty jump in range. Like, I do know I would never try and use 3C against, like, a Waldstein. But, I don't know, that may, maybe maybe that's more viable than I give it, uh, than I've been giving it credit.
Okay, so how bad is this? Is this a very depressing matchup? I feel like it should be. That was the one thing that I was thinking, like, that might be viable. That was actually pretty sick. It really shouldn't have worked. Like, the Hilda should have been more patient. So this person goes 100% for cross-under stuff, which I don't think is a good idea. Because I feel like with how they're teching, like, the way they're teching, and how high they, up, they are up in the air, they can easily fall on you with a normal. But it's working right now. That worked too? Okay. Apparently the answer is just go fucking nuts. And hope it works. That should've been punished. Hilda can definitely punish that. She has all those projectiles, of course she can punish that shit. What are you gonna do? Yeah. So that's it's a guess, essentially. The game of rock, paper, scissors. Whether or not that'll work or not. And obviously the first time the first time the Nase won, that time Hilda won. Completely wasted the shit out of that. This dude is a pixel away from death, and you're gonna throw out a veil off? People are terrible with their resources, man. Like, they're just throwing that shit away. I know I don't use shit nearly enough. Like, I almost never use the grid, the chain shift when I have it, because I don't really pay atten enough attention to it. I'm too focused on trying to, like, play neutral and stuff like that to pay attention to grid, which is my own fault. And it's a terrible waste of an excellent resource. But. Like, almost every single round we see people throw out a veil off, and that is a ridiculous waste. See right there, like, that should be blown up every single time. This dude is dashing all the way across the screen. There's no way that you, as a character with the amount of range and the tools Hilda has, that that should be happening. Like that. Never, never should anybody else be allowed to do that. It was like my matches against Ty, where almost every single time on my wake up, he was hitting, he was just dashing up. You should never, ever allow somebody to do that. I will challenge you every single time. And people are too scared. People are too scared to challenge people. And that's why I'm saying, like, it get in setups like, oh my god, this game is stupid. All right, so obviously we're done because that's all of them. That's so ridiculous though, like this is created on an old version of the game, why does that matter? You're just showing me things, you're not, like, you're just showing me a recording of a game, you're not... I guess, I guess if it like recreates it by button presses and what happens through all that, maybe? Because my version, this game's version of the button presses are different or whatever, but that still makes no goddamn sense to me. You're just replaying a match. How can you not just show, whatever, anyway. I don't understand why the hell that happens. But yeah, I really didn't, unfortunately, like I said, that really didn't, I didn't see anything there. Like, I didn't really, let me go, I don't know why I just came back here and so now I have to sit through all this shit. I'm gonna go back to network. Stop. Thank you. I'm gonna go back to network. First of all, we're gonna see if anybody's playing at noon on a Tuesday. Because <laughs> obviously that is the peak of activity, yeah, so Japanese probably, I would assume, would have to be. Oh, look at that. We would actually have a... Oh, never mind. I couldn't... I wouldn't be able to join that lobby anyway. So anyway, what do I want? 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 Oh, there we go. Here's what I want. So I have to go through all these people to find, like... Maybe. No. Oh, I think that means... That means that's the one that I already had. Yeah, so this is what I did. I think I went through, like, the top 15 or something like that. And I just grabbed the replays that were available. Nope. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, everybody... Nope. Oh. I was say, I saw Yuzu Rihanna. I was like, ooh, that's what I want to see. But no, completely wrong characters. God damn it! Shit. 
Shit. See, all these people that are high up on the Nanase leaderboards, shit, don't even have Nanase as their people. or the, Like, all that I can really... Ooh, there we go. We'll watch this one last one. This one final one, and then I'm done. Oh. <laughs> I just saw this person's win rate. <sighs> Ooh. That's Pulsar? I thought Pulsar was good. Guess not. Let's just trash on people. Why not? That's what it is, right? Those that can't do critique. So just talk about everybody, how bad everybody else is, even though you're worse than all of them. Why not? Don't you dare tell me this was created. You mother fucking stupid, terribly designed piece of shitty trash!